Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is The Globe Theory, and here I talk about conspiracy theories going on around the Earth. Every video I will be talking about different theories and different things that people are talking about on different social media apps, and I love talking theory. So comment down below if there's any theories you want me to talk about, and I will do some research and I will talk about it for you. The theory we're going to be talking about today is the 9-11 Twin Towers theory. So if you don't know what 9-11 is, let me give, just give you a brief overview of it. So basically, the Twin Towers uh, World Trade Center in New York City was terrorist attacked. So basically, two massive passenger airlines flew into the buildings and it caused the buildings to collapse and many died and many were injured and sending my prayers to their families. It happened about 20 years ago, a couple of days ago was its 20th anniversary. A memorial was held for uh, all of the fallen people that died in the terrorist attack back in 2001. Okay, so now let's go on to this conspiracy that everybody's talking about, about this theory. The conspiracy about 9-11 is that it was planned by the government themselves, the American government. Basically, what I'm trying to say is the government wanted it to happen basically the steel the twin towers were held up by very flame proof steel uh and they were meant to withstand massive temperatures of heat but the planes so okay let's just pretend this is the twin tower okay that's that's one of the towers and then we get this. This is one of the planes. The plane flew this way into the tower. So what you'd be expecting, as if you were chopping a tree down, the tower would fall this way. But it didn't. The tower fell in on itself. Weird, right? Because the steel would have melted on that side of the building. So the tower surely would have fell, fallen this way, if that's how the steel had been melted. You see what I'm going at here? Now that, that's the main part of the theory. Another part is the leaders of the World Trade Center were told not to go in on that day. Not to go into, the, not to go into work on that day. Weird. Also, there was a plane going straight for the White House. There were four planes. Two went into the World Trade Center, a tower each. One went into the Pentagon. Now, here's another thing. The Pentagon is the, US, the USA's best military base. So if they had flown into the middle of the Pentagon, it would have caused a lot more damage. But no, they flew right into the side. And the thing is, what I'm, con what I'm confused about is they didn't shoot the plane down. It's one of the most top security places in the USA and they didn't shoot the plane down going straight into it. The plane was shot down. This plane was going for the White House. Uh, it was shot down because obviously the White House is very important to the United States and is the house of the president. The president at this time was George Bush. He was at a school telling kids about something, I don't know what it was, but he was at a school and he was told by one of his, you know, assistants that the Twin Towers had just been hit by a plane. Uh, obviously he had a shock reaction of this and walked out of the classroom. Going back to this, why did the towers not fall that way? We obviously know, like I've shown, the plane, I know this is a Star Wars ship, it's for reference, flew like that into the building, melting the steel around this area. So, it would fall this way because that steel would be melted and it would bend that way and it didn't so that's what people are most concerned about another thing is just before the plane hit the building like a second before the plane hit the building explosions went off where the plane hit like around this area this is what people admit 
thinking made the tower collapse in on itself because there were C4s planted around this area of the building. I know it's not the building, all right? I know it's not the building. <laughs> it's for reference. The building collapsed in on itself. So people are saying, just with the plane, the C4, what people are saying, C4 explosives went off here, which made the building collapse in on itself. And whilst that could be true, um, Obviously, the, the the United States government aren't going to admit to it being true because they never admit to anything, let's be honest. All government officials of the United States have denied any theory towards them having advanced knowledge of the attacks. And the terrorist group that they said to blame, the Al-Qaeda, which was a terrorist group that didn't have much allegiance with America and they weren't great friends. So, yeah, they blamed it on them. And people believe that they did the Twin Tower attack just to start a war. But the thing is, the World Trade Center is the center, was the center of the United States economy. So, and also why they, there is some arguments to this theory, like the United States wouldn't risk that many people, the risk the lives of that many people to, you know, necessarily start a war with the Al-Qaeda. It doesn't make sense, does it? And the fact that they would break their, the most economic building the united states is very concerning down the plane going towards the white house they didn't shoot down the plane going straight at the pentagon which is the most highly securitized military base in the united states concerning isn't it hey that was my first episode of globe theories and i really hope you enjoyed um talking about i will do more theories in the future maybe more interesting ones if you would like me to do a theory please leave it in the comments I would really, really appreciate it to see your opinions. And I would like to see your opinions. So, uh, handshake. My name's Harrison Campbell. This is Globe Theory.